And now, your local weather authority forecast. Stormy weather to drier weather. That will be the big story throughout the day. We're in that transition period right now. This is a live look at Midland early on your Thursday morning. Still dark out there. We're under night vision. We're seeing the black and white colors. We're seeing the wispy whites indicating very thick clouds, not producing any rain, but indicating the still very humid conditions. Temperatures starting to drop, and we're seeing the stronger wind gusts from time to time from the north and east as a weather pattern change is underway. But taking a look at the stormy conditions that we did see yesterday, Thanks to Regina, who sent this in in the tall city as a departing thunderstorm moved off to the north and east. This thunderstorm cloud, otherwise known as a cumulonimbus cloud, indicating the very strong upward motion and dynamics in the atmosphere. Lightning, hail, rain, rainbows, and sunshine all in one. Take a look at that rainbow. You can clearly see that. And also some of the misty conditions beneath this thunderstorm cloud indicating, yeah, the very dynamic nature from Mother Nature itself. And we do notice that this very feathery cloud on the top part of the cloud indicates very strong winds and condensed air stabilizing the atmosphere from top. Now toward the surface this morning toward the bottom. So despite the thunderstorm that we did see, now we're seeing that rain activity push off to the east. There's a little some leftover thunderstorms near the Rio Grande this morning. Below severe limits, only some lightning strikes near Lajitas, near Dryden and Harrell County. Clear skies in the upper levels elsewhere, but still some low level clouds sticking on around. The winds coming from the north and east picking up right around 12 miles per hour in Midland and Odessa, 28 miles per hour in Pine Springs and the Guadalupe Pass. Those blue and yellow colored areas indicate winds also gusting more than 30 to 40 miles per hour this morning. Make sure you guys hold on to your hats. It will be a bit of a dusty day later this morning and throughout the afternoon. Very cloudy, 65 right now, officially at the airport in Midland with a relative humidity at 100%. Feeling the humidity this morning, but will be drying out later today as those northeasterly winds stabilize the atmosphere as a high pressure system will, will make its way in. Upper 50s, lower 60s from Hobbs, Jail, Andrews, Seminole, low to mid 60s around Midland, Odessa, the Big Springs still sitting in the 70s in Presidio, but we won't be warming up nearly as much as yesterday. Still pretty warm in Presidio in the low 90s, mid to upper 70s, low 80s from Marfa to Alpine to nearing Fork Stockton and Terrell County where thunderstorms still may form. A little bit warmer from Pecos Wink, Midland, Odessa to Big Spring compared to places like Marfa, Alpine and Fork Stockton because of more sunshine. But again, we were in the upper 80s, lower 90s yesterday, not as warm today at 79. North Eastern winds rising and clouds, then PM sunshine, but a bit of hazy conditions from time to time because of the strong wind gusts from time to time. Slight chance of storms this afternoon near Terrell County. Sunshine, but hazy conditions elsewhere as that colder air mass makes its way through. Mostly clear skies overnight in the 60s. Winds dying down from the east northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 50s tomorrow morning. The guys are picking up those skills from school tomorrow afternoon. Pleasantly mild. Very sunny at 79. Maybe a little bit warmer tomorrow compared to today. 79 today. 81 tomorrow. 76 Saturday. 80 on Sunday and then we start to see the warmer air by later next week.